Before we get started, let's talk about one of my favorite things, augmented reality, and how it is gaining widespread adoption across various industries. We're going to, take, we're going to talk to two different companies that are using augmented reality to explore how games and entertainment are being used to make ordinary, everyday experiences a lot more fun. So please welcome to the stage Ethan Eiler, the director of Ride Experience at Lyft, and, so, and Rick Davis, GM at Rewind. Hey, everybody. Bye. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. So for Lyft, you know, the rider journey is really paramount. And we're always looking for creative and exciting ways, you know, to bring surprise and delight to our passengers. In the past, these experiences have ranged from anywhere from fabricating literally dozens of, you know, replica Ghostbusters cars and putting them out onto the platform for people to ride in, to partnering with Netflix and Stranger Things to fabricate Demogorgon haunted house, you know, terror mansions on wheels to scare our passengers. Nice. Um, yeah, that's a, that was a fun one. Um, you know, increasingly, we're living in a world where someone or something is doing the driving for you. And this really unlocks a huge, huge opportunity for in-ride entertainment. And now, you know, the question we're really chasing down is, how do we scale these experiences? You know, so not just the lucky ones who get to ride in the, Demogor in the Demogorgon car to get to have the fun, you know, but how do we really make sure that every rider and every ride gets a taste of the magic? Um, we're really, really inspired by all the amazing work everybody in the audience here does on a daily basis in XR and in gaming. And so last year, we partnered with Rewind to kick off an R&D program to just start experimenting with AR and VR and immersive in-car entertainment. Yeah, and Rewind is one of the best in the business when it comes to making cutting-edge XR experiences. So how did you guys decide to approach this problem? Yeah, it, uh, it presented a hard challenge. How do we get hardware that was designed for the static ground to work in the back of a moving car? Our goal was to design an AR platform that any IP could reach millions of users in the press of the button. Now, this wasn't just a standard sort of build experience, press play type project. Instead, we had some ideas, some theories, and a little bit of duct tape, so we got to work testing both AR and VR. Uh, it actually looked a little bit like this. <laughs> a lot of duct tape. <laughs> we, uh, were, we were very calm about this. We're, we're getting this for our office, actually, as well. <laughs> All right, okay, so this looks really fun, uh, but let's look, get a little bit into the tech. So I'm sure that most of you have probably played with an AR face mask when you're in the back of your lift, uh, but that doesn't require the location information. Uh, it, it works pretty seamlessly. It doesn't matter how fast you are going. But traditionally, for more robust spatial experiences, you're going to want to rely on the IMU. But you couldn't do that in this case, so how did you approach the problem? Yeah, that's right. So if you rely on the IMU in a moving car, your characters fly off into outer space. But we found that with some smart camera tech, as well as the GPS in the car, we were actually, actually able to ensure that the IMU wasn't needed at all. So the end result was that we were able to um, keep your character fixed to, uh, fixed to the environment. So the theory here is that if the device knows where it is relative to the car, and the car knows where it is relative to the world, your experience should be able to play out as intended. Uh, the flexibility of Unity actually made it really easy to make this work cross-device. OK, so what was the final tech stack that you ended up with? Sure. So it was a bit of a combination, but okay. obviously the power of Unity, mm -hmm. some internal scripts uh, that we wrote ourselves, as well as AR Kit, AR Core, and Vuephoria. And the end result was something working on super simple devices, like your iPad or your iPhone. Nice. Um, so once we had the characters sort of locked to this world, we got together with our creative team and the amazing team at Lyft, as well as legendary creator Bay Rate of Games fame, to create a character and a story that the Lyft rider would absolutely love. Right. And that's how you came up with this guy. This little guy. Right. Yeah. A magical, whimsical tour guide. Now, what we did in this first test was we actually built a brand new kind of stage in the back of a car, oh. one where this digital tour guide is actually controlling the physical lights in the experience, uh, reacting to user behavior, and it's all controlled by a dedicated iPad that's in the hands of every rider. I really love this. I love seeing this combination of industries, and we're all working towards the same future together. This is awesome. A lot of fun. Yeah, these are the projects that we live for at Rewind, and it was such an honor to work with such an innovative brand like Lyft. So we're really excited to give you guys a sneak peek into some of the AR technology that came out of the work that we did together. So enjoy. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. 